What is up, everybody? Malcolm back again from Majestic Skies, uh, here to bring another Retroid Pocket 2 Plus video. Um, now, I was requested to kind of show what my settings are for the Dolphin emulator, in um, particular to get... Um, oh, shoot, I guess I took it off. Yeah, I took it off. Um, to get uh, Resident Evil 4 working. Um, but uh, I don't have it installed here, but I will show uh, some of my settings for Wind Waker. Um, which basically I use the same settings for um, Resident Evil 4. So I'll show sort of what my settings are for that to increase performance. And uh, you'll see I mean, this game does not run perfect, but I'll show some of my settings here. So go quick settings here. So 0.5 uh, times resolution is works okay for uh, this game. Resident Evil 4 is not ideal, but it does. Uh, you kind of have to do that. Yeah, so you basically turn on every hack possible. Um, other than that, I'll just go through here and show all the settings. Oh, well, I got So I'll show what I found kind of works best. Now, what I find really does help is if you override the CPU clock speed. Now, in Resident Evil 4, it had some weird results um, with the lower speeds. I actually turned it up to 200%, and that seemed to work, but... For this game, honestly, probably about 40%. Or, yeah, maybe 50% on your clock speed. But uh, really, you kind of just have to play with it and, uh, you know, see how it comes out. So I'll show with this. You should see a speed boost there compared to uh, what you just heard. here you can see this area I'm in is really really laggy it's, it's unplayable but you know it gives you an idea that uh, if you're having issues with GameCube you're not the only one because it is not easy to get it running uh, but uh, with some tweaks you can definitely make it playable but overall I'd probably recommend to um, not sure if do that I'm not sure if I can get so now we're at like 23 frames per second. It's playable. It's supposed to be around 30. So you can see indoor areas. Running just fine here. Full speed. Nice sword there. Just have to clip it. Oh, I guess I lost my sword. Yeah, that's it. Still pretty slow back, but. Yeah, so once again, I'll go through some of the settings. Mostly, obviously, in the graphics. OpenGL, um, shader compilation mode. I just do skip drawing because I'm, I'm basically you have to do absolutely everything possible to try to get it to go faster. So uh, you can compile shaders before starting, and it's usually a good idea, but you don't necessarily have to. Enhancements, internal resolution. Obviously, that you can adjust on the fly. And um, yeah. To do. See, I turn that off because it slightly decreases performance. Like, you have to do everything to try to increase performance. I turn um, 
I turn that off because I don't care if the texture quality is great because the resolution is so low, it doesn't really matter. Um, leave that unchecked. Disable fog. That um, can mess up the fog, but you know you have to do everything you can to boost the uh, performance. So disabling, blending, yada, yada, yada. Uh, may result in a sharper image, but it sounds like that might reduce performance, so I lower that. Back-end multi-threading, that's irrelevant because you need to use Vulkan, which does not work very well on this. Um, so let's see what else. What other settings here? Oh, wait, I'm already in there. What about the hacks? Yeah, so I'll turn all of these on. Do, do, do. So you can see pretty much all of these hacks, except for that one. I leave vertex rounding off because so otherwise it's going to cause some issues. See any other settings I'm missing? General, dual core. Obviously, you want that enabled. Fallback region, PAL. Don't really make much of a difference though. You can use PAL ROMs as well if you want. It'll limit the frame rate to 25 to 30, or sorry, 25 or 50, depending on the game. But I don't bother with that because I figure, you know, then you're just kind of lying to yourself about the performance, you know. Uh, what else am I missing here? Yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, you could go into the audio, but there's not too much to adjust there. Uh, I turn off audio stretching, but, um, you know, if you want proper audio, you can turn that on. It doesn't make much of a difference in my testing. And that's essentially it. So here I'll show. I changed a few settings there, and it's a slight bump in performance there. But, um... But, uh, yeah, this is kind of the best settings I found for the Dolphin emulator. And uh, you can see indoors, working great. But, uh, obviously in big outdoor areas. But definitely playable here. Maybe these are kind of the settings that you want. And what I do is get a barrel here. Try to actually play a little bit here. Okay, I got away with that. <laughs> I hate this section. This is why I haven't gone any further in this game. Because this section is so annoying. Like, <laughs> oh my god. Like, I don't know why they put this so early in the game, but it's just such an annoying section. Like, I hate it. And you have to be so patient with these jerks. Like, look at this. Like, I get that it's supposed to be kind of... Whoops, what are you doing? No, not me to do that. Okay, I somehow got away with it. Oh, don't move. I got away with it. <laughs> They're so annoying, though. This is where I go, right? No. I just went back in the prison, didn't I? Yep. That is not what I meant to do. So annoying, you can't just run away from them. <laughs> Honestly, I may as well just reset the game. Because I do not want to do that right now. But I do want to show in a larger open area. Now I use basically the same settings for Resident Evil 4, but you can experiment with the clock speed. Um, so I, I don't remember exactly. I think it was at 200%. And I found that that kind of can make the frame rate a little more unstable, but it tends to have a faster frame rate. So that's what I found works for that. But you can see those settings I changed do seem to be helping a bit. So we'll see in this open area now how it does. It was at 10 frames when I first started. But yeah, you can see it still has some trouble, especially when it's first loading, but we're more around 20 frames a second here from 11. So definitely 
playable, but not enjoyable. So, yeah, I would definitely not give uh, this game the highest rating for uh, emulation performance on this, but... Um, because, I mean, you know, it's not like this is like a crazy area where I can buy some lights and things are pretty unplayable. But, yeah, just don't be surprised if your performance is not great on uh, GameCube games, because there are some that are not the greatest. Uh, but, uh, yeah, hopefully that helps a bit, find some more playable settings um, for certain games. But, overall, I would say definitely don't buy this system for, uh, for GameCube. So, something to keep in mind, but... Thanks a lot for watching, hope this helped you out, and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this.